Good morning, everybody. How's all my friends in the YouTube world today? So look, I got Greg out there getting ready to load up. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna get this big Sakai roller, but I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of tour of uh, of the uh, building we got going on. So I'm guessing all this is gonna be parking here. And then this is gonna be, the way I understand it, I think some of our sudden service guys are gonna come over here with us. So that is the offices. And then of course the, the tall building is going to be uh is going to be the shop but it's really these i mean just in once this steel got here and these guys started hanging it and i'm gonna tell you what <laughs> once you walk in here it's unbelievable this thing's big and it's it's really going to be a beautiful building this part here so it looks like we got one two three four doors it's gonna be the shop part. So I don't, I don't really know all the plans, but I know it is big and it's gonna be nice. And I mean, it'll be, I mean, nothing, nothing's necessarily wrong with the trailer we're in, but it'll be so nice to be able to get a, to get in this building. You know, people ride by and see all the equipment, but they don't actually, you know, we actually hadn't had a building because we've just been in that trailer over there. But Craig Rozier, he's from over in the Delta. Him and his uh, brother and dad, they're, they're out here. They're actually doing this job. This is just some of the drainage. But the building's really big, really big and super duper nice. This is kind of the back of it. I'll, I'll go around the front and show you the front of it. But with our SSI department, some of you, some of you may not know, you know, Taylor's under the umbrella is Taylor SSI, which is Sudden Service Incorporated. And that's what Taylor's, that, that's, that's what Taylor's is so well known for, is, is their service, how great their service is, their service department. And, you know, even though I don't, we, we got upwards of, you know, 200 service trucks, but even have, having those service trucks out in the field, there are times where you need a shop. So it'll be it'll be really nice to uh, to have this shop here in case you got something big uh, you need to work on. Got a little Baker's Ready Mix going on right here. But uh, I'll turn you around now and show you the front of it. So the highway, of course, is out here. That's the 2515 bypass. 25 goes north right up here. You'll take a right and go to Startful and go down here through the four-way, 15 will go south to go to Philadelphia. But anyway, we are super duper excited at Taylor Construction Equipment to have our building in progress. I think maybe by October, maybe, you know, maybe by, by middle of deer season or something, which will be good. College football will be in full swing and uh, all the, fine folks that are traveling 25 to get to Mississippi State they'll be uh, they'll be they'll be coming up also so it'll be uh, it'll be really good to get the building in everybody will kind of see that'll kind of be the face you know everybody's been riding up and down the highway and people ask me all the time oh that's where all that equipment's at so they see the equipment they know where it is but now they'll now they'll get to see the building so looking forward to that i'm going down here to the end of the line down here got our wheel loaders our material handler and then we had to had to move this gw754 i think that's what it is gw754 a couple of weeks ago so those guys could work i have this rented going to a customer so I am looking forward to getting on this dude. This is a pneumatic roller. Obviously all the water goes there. Rubber tires. So this, this really helps them get their last little bit of compaction. You, you asphalt guys will know what I'm talking about. Instead of just using the big double drum, then this machine here has seven 
rubber tires, four on the back, three on the front. It's a big dude. Pretty much how you run this thing is that's forward parking brakes on right now you just ease it back and the further you pull it back the faster it goes when you push that the vibration comes on we're gonna get her backed up i'm gonna have to get it over there and get it full of fuel and we'll be ready to go Going forward, neutral, and you just ease it forward. Back it up a little bit more. speed it's on idle medium Four double drum. We got a lot of our excavators out on rent, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna go over here behind the trailer and fill it up with fuel. Alright, so we got her loaded up. Hook in the back. And Greg's getting her getting her loaded up, getting her tied down here in the front. I know we got some truck enthusiasts and Taylor Logistics to me has some of the best looking trucks that there is. It's a good looking sucker right there now. offline video and Greg do all the work ain't that's how you're supposed to do it I just told him I could walk off and video and let you do all the work that's right, that's what it's supposed to be. yep so I'm gonna be honest <coughs> if you've ever drove anything or operated let me let me let me let me back up but I'll get y'all to roast me for drive but if you've ever operated anything that articulates in the middle and especially this because it's it's narrow in the front and if you look at the footprint and then it's wide in the back and then it articulates in the middle so you really need to you really need to steer the back so it took me a minute to get it up on this on this trailer like I really wanted it I should know I think those are solid tires so you don't have to worry about air pressure or nothing like that so Kai uses brass uh, nozzles, okay? Lots of other companies use plastic and stuff like that, but Sakai does not. They, they use brass, so their water system is kind of the elite. Hooked up. That sign right there is about 50 years old. I like it.
right, so he's cranked up and ready to go. Loaded up and gone. I, I know this will this will probably be a quick video, but that's that's kind of how I planned it to be. Just kind of want to show y'all. That's the I think that's the fourth, third or fourth machine I've delivered this week. But it is good to get machines out. It's good to get them out to customers. Uh, I think this customer is going to rent this machine for about 10 months. So uh, that'll be good. That'll be good for TCE. But anyway, I know a lot of y'all are anxious. <clears throat> elk, elk season's coming. I, I will give you a little update. So dad is continuing to get better. You know, most of y'all know we, we normally leave around the first. But since dad had his bells palsy, then we're gonna leave a little bit later. I'm not exactly sure when, 10th, 11th, 12th, something like that, which is good. It gives us a little more time. It gives me a little more time with my with my shoulders, getting my shots in the shoulders. Uh, I've already started getting my gear together, so you're gonna still see that in some videos. Ainsley has started doing some ASMR stuff. She's so funny to watch. So I'm gonna have a couple of those videos on there too. But anyway, I really appreciate y'all following the Fanchers. Thanks for the support, all the comments, all the prayers. Uh, hope y'all are enjoying the videos as much as we enjoy bringing them to you. So God bless, Jesus saves. See y'all. Hydrate.